In January 2018, the United States Navy detected something alarming a mere 100 miles off of Wilmington, North Carolina, a Russian naval vessel. The craft is identified as the Viktor Leonov, a high-tech intelligence gathering ship that boasts surveillance equipment designed to intercept electronic signals. The U.S. government believes the vessel is eavesdropping on naval facilities along the Carolina coast. But national security isn't the only concern. Russian spy ships often employ high-frequency sonar. And according to Dr. Stephen Kajura of Florida Atlantic University, all that racket is bad for marine life. Sonar is like uh, an underwater speaker. And it retains that loud intensity for tens, even hundreds of miles away. Marine mammals don't like it. I mean, it's very loud for them. Whales and dolphins have been known to swim hundreds of kilometers out of their uh, way to get away from uh, this very loud sound in the environment. So if marine animals like whales and dolphins are repelled by sonar, could the same be true for sharks? And if so, could the sound waves emitted from a Russian spy ship be driving them out of the deep and toward crowded beaches? According to Dr. Kajura, it all comes down to how sharks hear. All right, so this is a, a juvenile lemon shark, and I just want to show you how sharks would hear the world around them. Sharks don't have external ears like we do, but uh, they do have these pores that lead from the surface of the head down into the uh, inner ear. And what we want to do is take a look at this inner ear. So we're just going to take a scalpel, make an incision along the midline of the body, that's the inner ear. That's what the shark uses to hear. A shark's inner ear is coated with a layer of tiny hair cells. When sound waves reach these hairs, they vibrate and send signals to the brain, which are then interpreted as sounds. Some species have such keen hearing, they can pick up on noise more than 800 feet away. So does this unique hearing system mean that sharks would react to sonar in the same way as marine mammals like dolphins and whales. According to Dr. Kajura, there's a subtle difference in the way a shark, and in fact many fish species, detect sounds. What sharks are really attuned to are low-frequency sounds that would be created by a, a potential prey item wagging its tail back and forth. This would be frequencies less than 1,000 hertz. The same is true for bony fish, a key prey item for sharks. Military-grade sonar operates at much higher levels, in some cases, up to 10,000 hertz. And those higher frequencies, they simply can't hear. So this is unlikely to be the cause of the spikes off North Carolina. Sonar isn't forcing sharks towards the coast. But perhaps there's something near shore that's drawing the predator into the shallows.